This racially insensitive video was not recorded here at the high school, but classmates and even administrators saw it and are reacting. Now the teen called on camera yelling the N-word finds herself in trouble, but some say the punishment isn't harsh enough. It's a 20 second video that stirs up so much emotion. Take a listen as a 10th grader at Wabanzi Valley High in Aurora screams the N-word and others encourage her. The girl laughs, but her classmates did not find the Snapchat funny. I know her. This freshman who's black is also on a dance team with the girl on the video. It's more like a be careful not to show that you're a racist. She says the team was apologetic when the principal called the team together last week. I felt like she was just like crying and upset because well, she's in trouble. The school district determined the video happened at someone's house on New Year's Eve. Whosever home it was does share some of the guilt here in this happening. The freshman's mother, who doesn't want her daughter identified out of fear of retaliation, believes the district did not move swift enough when it discovered this was their student. I am not going to accept this type of environment for my child. The high school's principal sent a robocall to parents Wednesday night, only after CBS2 sent emails and made calls. Messages of intolerance that further create spite are not tolerated in our school setting. The student handbook has restrictions about racial slurs, but because this happened off campus on winter break, they say their reach is limited. She's not off of the team. She just can't participate in the, our showcase that we're having in February. Now the district spokesperson refused to say specifically what type of disciplinary actions they took against the student, but add that they will continue to meet with students to make sure that everyone understands the severity of the Snapchat post. Reporting in Aurora, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News.